Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you, how to take advantage of an old computer power supply, then turn it into a voltage and current regulator, with a capacity of 250 watts. It will be very useful for your power supply project, with low cost and simple implementation. The output voltage of the circuit, is easily adjusted from 0 volts to 24 volts, via the potentiometer, with the output voltage feedback and stability. The output current of the circuit, is also easily adjusted from 0 amps to 10 amps, through another potentiometer, which has feedback and stabilizes the output current. This is a control circuit using IC TL494, a common IC that can be used from old computer power supply or purchased at electronic stores. The circuit uses very few components, I am sure you will succeed the first time. All design files, I will put in the description, you can download from there. I will guide you in detail after the sponsor's advertisement. This video is sponsored by JLCPCB. One fact about them, JLCPCB is the largest PCB prototype and supplier in China. With over 10,000 online orders per day. The product capacity is over 620,000 square meter, one layer or two layer PCB. Upload the Gerber files to get PCB with high quality and low price. This is the result after one week of ordering from JLCPCB. The circuit is very beautiful and solid. The top of the circuit has the value of the components printed, making it easy for you to plug in the components without being confused. I have a lot of old computer power supplies, this is one of them. It's very old but I think it can still be used. First we will remove all the screws and wire connections. This is a common computer power supply, using two ICs TL494 and LM339. circuit after removing the wires and cleaned. Next we will remove the heatsink with the diodes, the output filter capacitors, the two ICs TL494 and LM339. We will eliminate the output capacitors completely since the maximum withstand voltage of these capacitors is 16 volts. While the power supply we are working on is 24 volts. They will explode if we don't replace them. These diodes will also be replaced by a higher withstand voltage type.
I will use two resistors 0.22 ohm 5 watt in parallel, and connect them to the midpoint of the transformer. Output capacitor I will use 3300 UF 63 volt capacitor. You can use 35 volt or 50 volt capacitors. Here the control circuit is fully assembled, I will power up and check the output waveform. The circuit has been operating with a frequency of 34 kHz, both outputs have a signal. I will connect it to the circuit. This is the official website of utsource.net. Here you can buy most electronic components such as MOSFET, sensor, transistor, diode. You just need to type the name of the component in the search bar, you will get the results and the price almost immediately. Refer to the website link in the description for more details. This is the pin order of the TL494IC on the computer power circuit. We will connect the numbered pins, on the control circuit, to the correct position of the pins of the computer power IC TL494. I have completed the connection between the controller and the computer power board. You can pause the video to see more clearly. The diode I also replaced with a higher voltage one. The main diode installation location is the 12 volt line from the output transformer to the position marked plus 12 volts on the computer power circuit. I showed you how to make a regulator power supply. If you have any questions, please leave a comment I will respond, thank you for watching my video, don't forget to like share subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.